the video starts, guys, I do have a quick announcement for you. I will be in Lexington, Kentucky this weekend for LexCon or Lexington Comic Con slash Toy Con. I will only be at the event Saturday more than likely. I'm thinking about going Saturday and Sunday, but I know for sure I'll be there on Saturday. I'm just going to drive up to Lexington, hopefully to meet Adam Cole, Britt Baker, Hangman. I don't know if I'm going to do that or not, but I wanted to go up there and just toy hunt a little bit, check out the hunts and everything like that. I've seen plenty of videos on it. It looks really awesome. So I wanted to go up there and toy hunt and just make a whole video and, and you know, just go out there and have a fun time, man. But if you guys see me at the show or you guys will be there, please let me know down in the comment section below. And please come and speak. If you see me there, you know, talk figures, whatever the case is, man, I would greatly appreciate it. It'd be super awesome to meet some of you. Lexington Toy Con this weekend, Saturday, I will be there. Hope to see you guys there. Please come by and speak if you see me, but just wanted to get that out of the way before the video starts. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we do have another My Damn Hauls episode. Now, we are going to do this a little bit differently than we typically do our My Damn Hauls episodes. I've already opened this stuff, but we did get some great things this week in the mail, and I'm sure we're going to get plenty of stuff this weekend at Lexington Toy Con when we go up there to shop around and hang out a little bit, man. But anyways, I can't wait to get into it. It was a pretty good week of hauls, I would say. I was excited for it. We even showed off some of it already on the channel, but let's, let's just shut the hell up and get into what we got today. So starting out first, guys, it was a huge pickup this week. If you guys missed our review from yesterday, please go check it out. I would greatly appreciate it. But we did review. I got two of them through the mail from Shop AEW or Pro Wrestling Tees, whatever you want to say, man. I did get my Shop Exclusive or Shop AEW Exclusive, one of 3,000 Chris Jericho. I know that there's some glares and stuff going on. I apologize for that. But uh, it's a beautiful looking figure in person, man. It really is a gorgeous figure. I love the way it looks mock. I got it in the Defender case. I did get two of them shipped to my door in Defender cases for $90 shipped. I thought that was a fantastic price, fantastic deal. And I have one loose now because we did the review. So we do have, you know, of course, our loose one over here. Trying to pick up, you know, the full collection there. So we do have the loose one. And then we do have the mock one, of course, which I will be hanging up on the wall there. And that's kind of the main deal this weekend, man. What I'm looking for as we go out of town, I'm going to be hitting some Target stores. Going to be going to, you know, Kentucky for that Toy Con. Hopefully, we will be able to find some chases in the, maybe, maybe in the area leading up to the con or at the con itself. That will be the main goal. Chase AEW figures is what I'm trying to knock out, and I'll probably try to knock out some other goals of the collection, which may come in tomorrow's video. I may do my collecting goals, and we may even have a ranking video for this weekend as we are traveling there, but we did get those. Very excited to have those. So excited for the Kenny Omega to come. That's probably the one that I'm most looking forward to. Of all the shop AEW exclusive figures, the one of 3,000 Kenny Omega looks just freaking, oh my god. It's probably the most beautiful mock figure that they've done thus far, and I know there's not a lot of meat on the bone, as legends like to say, but the packaging is gorgeous. Now, I went to Target yesterday, and if you guys do know, we're trying to work on completing the retro card Spider-Man Marvel Legends figures, not only a men on card set, but also a loose set, so we did go ahead and grab the Ben Riley Spider-Man men on card, so I did get that yesterday, it was hanging on the pegs, there was like four of them, and there actually was a symbiote Spider-Man there, but I already have a few of that figure already, so now we are just looking for, I think, to complete the set men on card i do need the mark one spider armor hammerhead and hobgoblin i have all of them loose except for hobgoblin and spider armor mark one i've come across them many times and i keep passing on them i need to just go ahead and bite the bullet complete the set that way it's out of my brain forever and i don't have to worry about it anymore maybe that's something we can accomplish this weekend we'll have to find out but i'm trying i'll probably be more focused on going back and completing other figures that we've missed out on but we'll see about that but i was excited to grab the uh the spider man there man this this packaging is just gorgeous Gorgeous, bro. It's just so beautiful. I love it. It's excellent. It's terrific. It's fantastic. It's all the great adjectives that you could say. I, I am a big fan of the figure and I'm a big fan of the of the retro cards. Now, next up, man, which is probably the biggest pickup of the week, man. I gotta give a huge shout out to my man on Instagram, man. Action underscore figures dot hub. I will put the name on the display right there. He's a great customizer. Definitely deserves a lot more love, man. He he runs a great page and he gave me a fantastic deal. We we did a little trade skis. He's trying to grow his WWE figure collection i'm trying to grow up and and bring back my marvel legends collection because before i started the channel i actually had a decent sized marvel legends collection man it was pretty nice i loved it it was excellent and then one day i just decided to just move on from it and we'll probably get into that in the in tomorrow's video with my like collection goals and things of that nature we'll probably get into a little bit more of that however we did a fantastic trade and i gotta show off what he sent me man because it's so awesome he actually threw in two bonus figures and it's just it's just a, an amazing trade
Murray, man. I, I thank you so very much, bro. Thank you so much for the trade. You are amazing. Go give this man a follow on IG. Just simply, not a, not only is he a talented individual, but he's just a, such a kind human being, man. So I'm sure we'll do more trades in the future, but this was awesome. So the first figure that we got, man, is the Marvel Legends Spider-Man Far From Home figure from the Marvel Legends Spider-Man Far From Home wave. Pretty nice figure. I like it. You know, nothing uh, too crazy going on. I do believe that he painted in the web lines, if I'm not mistaken, with the micro pen. I did the same thing with my upgraded suit Spider-Man. So this is a nice one to have and add to the collection. Again, man, going back and having to complete some of these waves because I passed on them for so long, which again, we will get into more in depth in the collection goals video, but beautiful looking figure. Was missing this piece, so we had to, you know, had to fill in the hole. Next up, guys, we have the Marvel Legends Black Panther from the Armored Thanos wave. I think that's what it is. Beautiful looking figure. I want to say I've owned this figure before, but I can't remember off the top of my dome. I want to say I had the Infinity War wave Black Panther with the purple in there, you know, the one that matches the, matches the Cedric Alexander figure, but I sold it again a while back, and it is nice to have another Black Panther in the collection. Well, just freaking nice figure, man. Such an underrated piece. So I was happy to pick that one up. Next up, guys, we have two different Build-A-Figures, and the first one is the Build-A-Figure Armored Thanos. You guys call him Thanos, or you call him Thanos? I kind of flip back and forth. Thanos, Thanos. I don't really... I think I call him Thanos. I think, it is, I, think I do say Thanos. It doesn't really matter, does it? Regardless, this figure is beautiful. I like it a lot. I know a lot of people hate the Thanos Build-A-Figure figures. I feel like a lot of people crap on the, on the Build-A-Figure Thanos figures. I definitely like the armored version better than the non-armored version. You know, more of, a, more of an end game rather than an Infinity War. All of these figures also did include their accessories, so I was super happy to add this one to the collection. Our next Build-A-Figure, and it is none other than the Avengers in-game Build-A-Figure MCU Hulk, which is a beautiful figure, man. It feels fantastic in the hand. I think the likeness to Ruffalo is really really noticed here in this figure, man. Just a great piece. Feels hefty in the hand. Just I, I love the way that the figure feels in the hand and just the way that like the skin feels. I know that's a little bit weird, a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit uh, don't, you know, not, not a lot of something special going on there, young man. But nonetheless, beautiful looking figure and I, I enjoy it a lot. I've been posing the hell out of it and this makes a, a fantastic addition to the collection again. Now this next one was probably my most anticipated and most exciting part of the trade for me and that is because it's probably my favorite iteration of Spider-Man, at least as far as design wise is concerned. Especially like comic book related or other media related not related to any movies or anything like that man and that is going to be none other than the retro collection scarlet spider bro what a beautiful figure i had the original build a figure rhino wave way back in the day before i sold it so to put this back in the collection i actually like this version a lot better i think the red is a lot better i, I like the way the eyes look better here and it just feels fantastic man what a beautiful look i don't know what it is i i, I may probably be i'm gonna toss up between sam raimi spider-man and the scarlet spider for halloween next year gonna change it up a little bit you know get a little get a little cosplay going there for halloween as spider-man possibly next year but this figure is just outstanding bro i just love the design of scarlet spider and i think that this is awesome man also thinking about getting a tattoo on my leg of scarlet spider we'll see about that and you see how everything goes but super happy to complete him in the collection scarlet spider makes his inevitable return to the collection i don't know if you guys saw this the other day on the toy hunt but we also added the uh, the retro card we, we got a mock version and a loose version so we did get the shocker from the uh the spider-man retro card marvel legends of course and then the last two figures that we have he actually threw in as bonus and oh my god bro this he did not have to do this he knows that punisher and wolverine are two of my favorite marvel characters or comic book characters of all time and so he not only threw in the walgreens exclusive punisher now this is where i'm confused i want to say this is the walgreens exclusive punisher with the belt painted i want to say he painted the belt he may have just like replaced it with a different punisher or did they just straight up release it like this i feel like it's customized though i could be wrong about that i may be tripping maybe this isn't the walgreens exclusive but it looks just like it maybe it's a two-pack or, or something like that or this may be the retro card with uh with the walgreens exclusive head sculpt on it maybe maybe it's just a fix up here because i know the retro card came with a red bandana maybe that's what he did regardless man thank you so very much he included all the accessories again so the weapons and all those different things man that was a beautiful piece punisher is one of my all-time favorites and then he threw in the weapon x wolverine which this one gives me huge nostalgia feels if you guys grew up in the early 2000s you guys will remember i think it was x-man 2 like the x2 movie and they were they released a ps2 like spin-off version of the game 
and it was Wolverine's Revenge. I played the dog shish out of this game, bro. What a fun game. I feel like this game gets slept on by a lot of people. Very fun game, but one of the levels you break out as, you know, Weapon X Wolverine here, and you're in your getup. You're running through the snow, just killing the hell out of guards and stuff. Very hard game, but very, very fun game, bro. Like, you're running through the snow as Weapon X Wolverine. You're killing guards and stuff. Very hard game, but I feel like it's very slept on by a lot of people. Not a lot of people remember that game, but I grew up on it as of, from my childhood and this figure kind of embodies that for me. I would love to get it like in, I don't know if I'm going to pose him like, because he's not yelling with the helmet on. I don't know if I should make like a diorama with him like in the freaking tube with like the hooks and stuff like that. Maybe hook like a freaking turtle tank machine up to it or a fish tank machine up to it and have it bubbling with water or something. I don't know. I may have to look into that, but I think that would be a very dope display piece, but I've always loved Wolverine because of that video game and like growing up with Hugh Jackman as Wolverine and the, the cartoon, man. I, I was a huge Wolverine Wolverine fan. Still am. He's one of my favorites ever, so this is beautiful, man. Beautiful figure. Huge shout out to him again for, for this, man. Again, definitely go give him a follow on Instagram, bro. Again, the, the everything is down in the description and on the screen for you, but that is pretty much our haul, man. Very epic day. I know we had a lot of Marvel Legends here today, but we did have, of course, our Chris Jericho's that we got, and I think that's pretty much it. I also wanted to make the announcement about the ToyCon coming, and then, of course, we are going to be hunting and doing all those things, man, but that is going to wrap up today's My Damn Hauls video, man. Thank you so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know your thoughts on everything down below. Leave me a comment, man. Leave me a comment down below, man. I would really, really appreciate it. I'm getting out of here. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I'll see you guys in the next video. And don't cross the line like me when I decided this late to try and go back and come and try to get back all my Marvel Legends. You cross the line. I've been beaten.